Well, here we have two uh, equations to, uh, or problems to solve, involving uh, the formula uh, p of t, or something like the p of t equals p sub odd e to the r r. Excuse me. Keep writing k then. R t. Uh, we can ex change these letters, but the general structure of the equation is still the same. And where p sub odd is the initial amount, in this case it says how long will it take for an investment to double in value if it earns 7% compounded continuously. So our rate is uh, 0.077%. Well, look, if this thing's going to double in value, then we're going to double the initial amount. In other words, 2p sub odd after uh, so many years is going to equal p sub odd e to the rate is 0.07t. Now, look at the uh, p sub odds are going to divide out. And so we're left with 2 equals e to the 0.07t. Now we'll take the natural log of both sides and when we take the natural log of this, what's on the right, we know by the law of logs we can remove uh, what's in the exponent position and put it in coefficient position and alongside ln of e, but we know that ln of e equals 1. And so 1 times 0.07t is 0.07t. Now our final task is to divide both sides by uh, 0.07. And so that's what our time is. And when we run it through the calculator, we get approximately 9.9 .9 years. And we're done with that one. Now we'll do the second problem, and we'll use the same formula, except I'm going to change the letters, just for the heck of it. I think the book wrote it this way, a of t, it's still the same equation, different letters, equals a sub odd e to the kt. And a sub odd is still the initial amount. And it says the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,700 years. If 100 grams are present, now, so a sub odd equals 100 grams, or grams. Uh, how much will be present in 4,000 years? Well, our first task is, given all this data, our first task is to uh, take this equation and uh, install, make a couple of substitutions and find k. So, we know the half-life is 5,700 years, so in 5,700 years, half of this amount will be left. So, we've got one half of a sub odd equals a sub odd e to the uh, 5,700 k. I hope I said 5,700 is the half half-life. 5,700 years. Now the a sub odds divide out, and we're left with 1 half equals e to the 5,700 k. Now we'll do as we've done before. We'll take the natural log of both sides. And so I get ln of 0 0.5. 1 half can be written as in decimal form as 0 0.5. And by the law of logs, we can bring this, uh, the exponent down out as the coefficient on ln of e, but ln of e is 1, and 1 times 5700k is 5700k. Now to isolate k, we'll just divide both sides by uh, uh, 5700. And now we've got k, so I'm going to make a note of that. k equals 
ln of 0 0.5 divided by 5700. Now, let's go ahead and employ the rest of the data and uh, find how much will be present in 4,000 years. So, uh, we know this, that 100, uh, well, <laughs> uh, let me just call it, uh, let's see, what will we call this? Oh, yes, we'll call it A of 4,000, A of 4,000 equals, and A sub odds 100, and we've got E, and the time, replacing T with 4,000, and replacing K with uh, LN of 0 0.5 over 5,700. And now, uh, this is just a matter of running this through the calculator, and when I did that, I wind up with 61.5, and that's approximately grams. And that's how much of that original 100 grams will be left after 4,000 years, and we're done.